Hello and welcome to another 23 chairs video and we're jumping straight into the restoration. I didn't film any before footage for this one so um, we'll just get started. Um, this is a really classic little vintage footstool. You see tons of these around. Quite often they've already been reupholstered. Um, this one's in original condition so it's really really quite threadbare um, the foam is in really really bad condition kind of disintegrating one of the legs is falling off so um, I thought it was just pinned on and pegged so I just gave it a little hammer but as you will see in a moment uh, it wasn't so it's just fallen back off again so I'm gonna need to remove that and we'll fix that properly and here's the repair happening just some wood glue and a new screw to fix that on properly I removed the rest of the top outside over the bin it was producing so much dust it couldn't be done indoors so I didn't film that part I also painted the underside in this lovely chalky blue uh, which I also forgot to film sorry about that um, so this is a little bit later on when that's had a chance to dry um, first step just using the outline of the board as a template and I drew around that on both sides so that when I cut through the foam it is very thick foam when I cut through it I can keep the line really square um, so you get nice square edges all the way around then going around with the giant scissors and uh, cutting off any little messy bits, um, neatening up the edges generally and um, making it nice and smooth. So moving outside now for a bit more ventilation um, and applying a coat of spray adhesive that just needs a minute or so to get tacky and then as soon as it's tacky you can press the foam on and that sticks really firmly. Now we can go back inside for the reupholstering. Um, although not me doing it, uh, I actually got a little bit of assistance with this one because I'm back to work full time now. So here is my um, assistant, <laughs> just using a, an electric staple gun to fix this fabric on. I had a definite look I was going for with this one and I wanted it to be really shaggy. So this is actually a faux sheepskin rug, which is being repurposed into uh, upholstery fabric for this one. And because of the thickness of the material, um, you can probably see that Hubs is having to sort of make a parting in the hair, fire the staple in quite often, then go back and hit it with the pin hammer um, just to make sure it's really securely fixed in place. I don't want any lumps and bumps when it's finished. So he's doing a super job. And now that's kind of fixed and stable all the way around, it's getting its first haircut. Um, just taking some of the excess off so we can get into the last little nooks and grannies. So here's the last trim happening and this has to be done from the inside um, with a sharp knife rather than with scissors from the outside so that the fibres that are stuck to the fabric don't get cut short otherwise they might accidentally get a little trim too and that would leave it looking a bit tufty. And while he had that off cut of fabric to hand obviously couldn't resist dressing Eddie up as a lion. So cute. What a good boy. Yeah. 
now all that excess fabric's cut off, um, you can see where there are any last little gaps that need to be stapled. So a last run round with the staple gun and the pin hammer to make sure it's not gaping anywhere. And here's the finished article. It does remind me a tiny bit of Papa Smurf, but I do absolutely love it. I love how fluffy it is, it's so fab. So if you enjoyed this video, do like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram for more projects and updates. And to visit the Etsy shop, search 23 Chairs Shop or click the links in the description. Thanks for watching.